You are now listening to the podcast for geeks and the stuff they love, where each week we'll talk about everything from anime to movies, games, and prop collecting with the people who create and love it. I'm Jeremy. I'm Vince. I'm James. And this is your Geek Fix. You know, last week I actually, I, I ended up having to release kind of a different uh, podcast because we hadn't connected for a little while. And, and honestly, uh, because of some different things that were going on, I want to make sure that everyone was kind of up to date what was going on and i didn't realize uh because we did this i did that for youtube and i i wasn't even thinking about the fact that actually uh more than half of our audience right now doesn't watch the youtube channel uh so as i've been tracking things so i decided to release that also on here so a couple weeks ago though uh when we last were all together uh we made a comment we were just joking around about the fact that we ought to bring in merch from other places, from the, like LTT store and things like that. Uh, today, I'm wearing actually my uh, Joey. This is Joey the Anime Man as Dr. Jelly uh, for Abroad in Japan. I've also got right here, I've got a, a fake tattoo uh, from Tested, uh, which uh, I'll have to come back to. I, 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 I personally wouldn't use a tattoo to measure things because being a little aware of biology and physiology, this tends to change over distance wise over time. But, um, yeah. but you know, a big thing about tested is that that's kind of part of the inspiration for why I even, when I started my channel, uh, on YouTube, but then also we started in the podcast is cause I've been since the beginning, uh, was listening to the podcast for it. This is only a test, which is the tested podcast. Well, before Adam Savage joined, uh, it was Norm McDonald, or Norm McDonald, <laughs> Norman Chan, and Will Smith uh, that started that back in the day. Uh, and uh, and I, yeah, I, I mean, I I always liked listening to their stuff. They had more podcasts that they developed. And then, if you've been listening to them, if you're aware of all that, this last year, uh, they decided that they weren't going to do that anymore. They they stopped. Uh, oh, this is only a test. Uh, in fact, I think the audio files are no longer available. You can only watch it through YouTube. Um, but, you know, and a lot of podcasts like what I was kind of going off of, the things that kind of inspired me initially um, kind of went away. And so at the same time, I thought it'd be interesting to talk about podcasts. Um, I will say this too. One other thing kind of full circle wise, uh, it was it was cool this last year. I think this last year is when I released the third Pip-Boy video, isn't it? Um, yeah. yeah. So uh, we released the third Pit Boy video. And what was really cool about that is that we got tested involved and Norman Chan edited part of that video. So, oh, uh, himself, which, I mean, they have interns and stuff when, when they told me that they were going to edit it, I thought it would be like some intern or something. And instead, every time she messaged me back, she's like, Norman's still working. On it. <laughs> oh, wow. like, Well, that's so cool. So he's in the closing credits, yeah. even of that. But I mean, so, I mean, yeah, that's kind of how things kind of wrap back around, but I kind of get, I, of course, for those of you that are listening right now or watching this podcast, we're also interested to know and, and to share what, what are the podcasts that you listen to? But, um, but what do you, what, what about you guys? What are, what are some of the podcasts that you listen to? What are the ones that kind of, do you, do you go to work, uh, and listen to on your way or as you work out or as you're going to sleep or, <laughs> or you're working on a project? Uh, what what sort of things that do you tend to listen to? Well, first and foremost, the, uh, the your your Geek Fix uh, podcast. Oh well, yep. yeah, right. <laughs> Great podcast. Great yeah. cast. Also, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Well, uh, a a yeah. lot of people have told me that, that they tend to, uh, as far as what activities they do, a majority of the comments I get is that they tend to be working on building and other projects, and they they listen to. Us uh, so even on YouTube, they just listen to us as in the background as they're working on whatever the project is that they're doing. But yeah, what which which, which podcast for you, James? Uh, like the podcast I listen to typically are old, like they're they're not current shows or shows that are running anymore. Um, so I've listened to uh, a podcast from a group called the Creatures, uh, specifically Creature Talk oh. from years and years ago. Um, and oh. just just because of like pure nostalgic uh, sake, I will re-listen to uh, those podcasts like over and over again. Uh, what's what's the theme? Like, what do they usually 
do and talk about and it's pretty much anything and everything uh is it I, kind of like yogs cast or something like yeah, that yeah pretty pretty similar pretty similar yeah. um like i i have this um this there was this 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 channel uh, i can i can link it to you as soon as i find it but um they used to do like the highlights from some of the uh podcasts as well and those would like just be random uh snippets of like different se- uh themes that they were talking about like one of them was when Reddit fifty fifty used to be very popular. Oh yeah. Uh, so when you'd yeah, enter yeah. it and then you'd put a press a link and it would either be one thing or the other and it could be really, really good or really, really bad. Um right. I think they did a few uh, snippets of that and uh there was another one just talking about oh uh, when they had their one hundredth uh, uh podcast and they celebrated that immensely. Yeah. And just so, so, yeah. But seeing as I really, really enjoyed the group, I just like listening to the podcast in my spare time as well. And I, I still enjoy re listening to it. Awesome. Uh, that sounds and then pretty some, good. So, what are a bit more modern, I guess you could say, or like actually still going on would be Trash Taste. Uh, I do enjoy listening oh, yeah. to their stuff as well. I don't uh, listen Which, to it. Initially, that, that was supposed to be more of a like an anime podcast. And they and, always comment on the fact that they really don't. Actually, they have recently talked a little bit, but typically that's the farthest thing from what they, they talk about typically. Is, is, yeah, I think is, the, the last few people they had on, <laughs> they've been talking about more anime related stuff, but it has been yeah a bit of everything, which which is still fun. It's refreshing. Like If, if you yeah. always talk about the same topic, I guess you as uh, like the, the podcaster get uh, burned out as well. So it's, it's, it's good. Yeah. Uh, and then... Yeah. I listened to some of the Misfit stuff, like specifically um, Swag Missiles. Uh, and then oh. apart from that, I, I don't think you can consider it a podcast, but the um, the Austin show, the, um, yeah. what was the specific name of it? The, um, oh, the Level Host uh, show. But I don't think that's a podcast. I don't think that can be considered one, but I enjoy watching You can still kind of listen in the background though, right? Kind of oh, thing. Yeah. I mean, like it's not something where you have to be watching. I feel like you can kind of no. put it into that category, but it's something you can kind of, yeah, you listen. It's somewhere <laughs> in the background. I don't know. Yeah, but I, I have list. listened even in my car to 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 YouTube based stuff before. You know, just because it's the easiest way to access it. But I don't know. No, what, but, what else you got? Uh, apart from that, like actual podcasting things, I I wouldn't say I listen to anything much more. Uh, I do enjoy, uh-huh. as you say, like if if uh bringing up whatever YouTube video, just leaving that in sort of in the background and listening to that. Uh, I, I've recently been watching or well, slash listening to um, Elden Ring challenge uh, videos from... Oh, the, really? Yeah, I think his name is Bushy. Uh, and uh-huh. I've, I've seen... I've, like, I've actually sat down and watched like five or six of them. Uh, and then they came to a point where you sort of know all of the steps that a challenge has to go through and sort of just listen to it uh, in the background to see what sort of challenges they actually have, but you don't actually need to watch the content to know where they are or what they're doing. Right, right. What What is it that drives you to, I mean, at the same time, to to watch it? Like, what, what makes you... I'm almost kind of... I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I, I really enjoy the... Um, the Soul series and Elden Ring, like being the latest one, I, I sat down uh-huh. and played 60 hours through that or something, something, something like that. Um, and really enjoyed it. Yeah. And it's just, it comes to a point where, like, after the, after working a uh, whole day, you sort of just get home and you don't really feel like doing very much. And so, yeah. for whatever reason, uh, on YouTube recommended, it just came up with like the first video that I started watching. I thought, well, fine, I'll watch this. And then afterwards, I uh-huh. thought, okay, that was good. And then the next one, and now it's just, Whenever I get back, it's just sort of like, without being rude, it's like mind numbing. You just you don't have to right. pay attention to it, and it's it's just soothing. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's yes. it's, it's interesting to me though, because I mean, I I've done the same thing. I, I'll watch other people playing and and even hours kind of going by, but at the same time, like it's so hard to explain. <laughs> the the why or how it is that I can sit there and do that <laughs> you know what I mean I I don't know it's 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 interesting what about you Vince um podcast wise uh it's Ben Sunday School oh with, yeah uh, Ben Gillette. he's been doing that for years yeah yeah, yeah. it's yeah. great 
And it's, uh, that's also available on I on. Is it on YouTube still? Does he still do it uh, on YouTube? I I don't. I'm not sure. I'll listen to it on Spotify. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, I love the way he thinks, and I love the way he uh, confronts the world with himself, uh-huh. so to say. Uh, right. And uh, he's, he's uh, you know, like smallest things for for Ben uh, can be a big challenge. Like for example, because of his fame, he has like a lot of people doing his work. So uh, right. He, uh, one of the podcasts describes that he had to uh, c- uh, go to a barber shop and have his hair cut. And he just explains what it does to him. And, and, you know, for someone whose life has been, you know, work, 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 schedule, 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 uh, everything is how it would be to have your own agency and sit right. down in a chair with someone and discuss how you want your hair to be cut. Uh, it was really fun. Um, yeah. And he's also very, um, he has nice anecdotes. So, like one of one of the topics was that he was uh, going to shoot a movie uh, about uh, something about um, um, I say uh, uh, location uh, scouting. Oh uh, yeah. So so he's going to to this. Uh, he explains that he's going to a um, a house that has to in the movie be uh, like a dilapidated house where some clowns live in, uh-huh. and like this whole story behind it. But he says it's difficult because these people they offer their own personal houses to be used for locations uh, in a movie, and you go there and you criticize, saying, "Oh yeah, this this cracked tile is really excellent, and this dilapidated staircase is really good." And you're talking yeah. about someone's house and livelihood, right? Uh, right, right. Uh, from uh, so he, <laughs> he had a difficult time being polite about it, but also saying that this this is what we need, and oh yeah, this is a real yeah. crummy crummy sidewalk, and this is yeah, this, yeah, this, this wood is, 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 is rotten. Yeah, yeah so, and that's perfect. So, um, so that's a fun one. It's like like a slice of life into someone whose uh, life is totally different than mine. It's usually only him, though, too, on that podcast. Uh, no, I, has, I don't think I've panel. heard of him. Does he? he? Oh, okay. Yeah, you have uh, Goudot and uh, Ready Rich and some other people. Oh, that okay. Are, that I haven't are listened for a long time. So. <laughs> yeah, but, but he has a panel, and, and sometimes he has guests on, on as well. So it's, uh, it's pretty fun and well, well made as well. Um, yeah. Uh, the other podcasts that I listen to, um, well, I used to listen to Kevin Smith with Smodcast and uh, yeah. Fat Man Beyond and all that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I mean, for some reason, I kind of got burned out on Kevin Smith because, uh, yeah. uh, I don't know, he, he he's fun to listen to and he's, of course, like the, the template geek. But um, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. For some reason, uh, I'm not not to bash on Kevin Smith or anything, but I just lost interest. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it, it was a fun podcast when, when he still did Smodcast and uh, some yeah. some movie reviews. They uh, they mostly talked about comic books on the podcast and the outside yeah, of when he tell us, for example. I mean, yeah, I think, well, I think that they stopped doing that, or at least the the, the setup changed a bit. Uh, okay, uh, and and then yeah, I just kind of lost interest, and also I can only listen to one podcast a day. No. Because of commute, so then, and ours then, ours has to be at the top of that. Yeah, so. well, I, I, I do, I do <laughs> well, well, you echo or, or uh, listen <laughs> yeah. listen to it uh, to make sure that uh, you know uh, there's nothing untoward being said uh-huh. accidentally, or uh, I have to you know mind my uh, uh, mind my uh, cross my T's and my uh, yeah my eyes over plug your eyes. No, but I do want to listen out of interest how it sounds and how, how it goes. But uh, I'm not so much podcast related but there's also like um there was this big thing about uh, dungeons and dragons live streaming kind of stuff uh-huh. or like scripted stuff like critical role uh uh-huh. my favorite is acquisitions incorporated by penny arcade uh oh, with, I heard uh, that. jerry hawkins huh. and it's uh, it's basically a um uh, uh they made a they made a source book for D D about it which is they are basically a an adventuring company and you get uh, stuff assigned by the company based on how well you do your quests within the D and D world, so to say. Uh, so one person is responsible for making maps; the other one is responsible for checking the money. And uh, yeah. it basically adds a sort of corporate level, but also a very good structure to your uh, Dungeons and Dragons team uh, that that gives them more to do than just their roles and and the story at hand. So it, it becomes a bit of a meta. Uh, a corporation management sim, so to say, yeah. very lightweight though. Uh, I really <laughs> like the way he set it up, and the story is pretty nice as well. The, the actors uh-huh. uh, or the people working in it are pretty cool as well. But I used <laughs> to watch it a lot, um, 
and then you know when when I couldn't watch it, I'll, I'll just listen to it uh, because uh, it, it it works that way as well because it's here that the line most of the time. Yeah. Uh, one other thing I found out that I think started as a podcast but got uh, animated and and we're talking about years back is Ricky Gervais. Uh, oh yeah. The, Carl Pilkington yeah. and Stephen yeah. Merchant. They have like this yeah. animated Ricky Gervais show yeah. where they basically have a podcast and then some group of animators animate whatever yeah. Carl. It's really Pilkington. Carl though that made that. Yeah. Yeah. Good to listen to. I mean, if exactly. it wasn't for him, they're both comedians, but at the same time, Carl was the thing. He, and he was technically the producer. They happened to bring him in one day yeah. and allowed him to be involved. And then from there, that was really what spun and then this, it off. There's this whole but, episode yeah. about him and, uh, yeah. and, and his mom putting tipex on a spider to make sure his dad doesn't kill it. I remember and, that. Yeah. And, 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 and they read part of his diary when he was a teenager yeah. and all that kind of yeah. stuff. It's great. All the monkey, Rich- monkey episodes and stuff yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But his point of view on the world is so bizarre and so funny. Yeah. Uh, and he can, he can really get riled up on really simple things. And I really like that. So, uh, yeah. The name? Uh, it's yeah, a- it's called the Ricky Gervais show. Uh, it's, yeah. It's- the podcast was called, it still had Ricky Gervais in it, but what what was the podcast was called? Uh, well, there was a TV show called The uh, uh, Idiot Abroad, right? Yeah, Idiot Abroad was kind of a spin off, but that it yeah. spin off from that, and then of course they involved um, um, uh, what's his name? You actually Warwick mentioned Davis? him before. Uh, no, uh, yeah, Warwick, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but um, no, the, the the podcast when they started animating it. And and put that out there. It was on HBO, which yeah. is I think how most people got access to it. Yeah. It was called something with. Yeah, it I think it said Ricky Show. Carl, I think. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, maybe it was just a Ricky Gervais Show. It was funny though. It was that was hilarious. It's yeah. been a lot of years that it hasn't been yeah. around, but it's so worth watching. I, you can easily find it on YouTube. Uh, any of those episodes, but well, yeah, kind of he'd always. Here. Oh, whoops! You cutting out? Yeah, no, no. So I was just saying that the um, the first oh, the episode heck? is apparently called Space Monkey, and it is uh, just called the Ricky Gervais Show. I remember that one. I remember Space Monkey. So every episode, Carl would be he would do like a news, a news uh, clip that was questionable as to whether or not it was real, and and so Ricky would always pick on him about it because it would be something about some monkey that did something overly spectacular. <laughs> so, it was, it was a good show, though. But, yeah, that's a good one. I like that. Well, you know, I mean, along the I, I, the drive, the reason behind wanting to listen to some of these things, that was part of what I've been thinking about is, I mean, like, I think the reason why I wanted to do this podcast and the reason why I listen to podcasts, I think, is a weird, tell me if I'm wrong, but to me, it's like a weird social activity. Like, I feel like the reason why I like like trash taste and, and uh, listening to uh, abroad in Japan is also a, a has a podcast. Uh, yeah, and it's, uh, so, yeah, and it's it's a pretty good one. So, you know, um, but uh, so you have Chris Broad and and you have uh, Pete um, that that are on that one. And uh, but at the same time, I think the thing that's nice about it is because you kind of know them also, I guess, from YouTube, YouTube so you're kind of. So fairly familiar, but you get to the point where you feel like you actually <laughs> like you've been there, you know? like you're a part of the conversation. Yeah. And, and right. I so and I think I felt that way even back way back in the day when I used to live in Arizona. Um, I had to drive a lot through the desert, uh long distances sometimes. And uh, at night too. And no so way. and I mostly listened to like talk radio back then. And in fact, uh, back then, so at night when I would be driving through the desert, there's like nothing. If you drive through the desert, you like the skies, you can see all the stars and things, but there's like nothing out there. Right. And there was this guy, this, I think he's in the, I think I'm, cause I'm pretty sure he still does this. There's this guy that's kind of, he's kind of a conspiracy guy too, but at the same time, he spends the whole night, uh, talking about like aliens, UFOs, whatever else and stuff. Uh, and interviewing people about different wild things. And apparently he's like in some, he's recording the whole thing and he's transmitting it from uh, some uh, trailer that's out in the middle of some desert, I think in Nevada. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. But I mean, like it, it, I used to, uh, you know, when you're, when you're by yourself and you're just riding along and there's nothing else, by the way, it, it, you know, that it was AM radio that I would have to read why I'm back in the day. But uh, you know, it just, there's something about, 
being able to to connect uh, in some ways and and at the same time so when we started recording this you'd think the reason why i'd be listening is just either a my wife thinks it's because i like to hear myself talk or <laughs> or b uh you know because i'm i you know if like if i was one of you guys i want to i want to i'd be curious what how i edited it and whether or not i left something in or Did or how, how you sound or what you said in the end you ever gone back and heard something i've been on tv a lot and I, I, whenever they, whenever I'm on the news, they always only take the one little thing that I didn't even know we were recording for, and they put that in there. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, like, uh, I could see listening to something like this for that reason, but the really the reason is is because it's like this is how I'm again connecting, um, and having a conversation is strange. Uh, but I, I think we're in a day where like part of our social, uh, experience is is podcasts. Uh, yep. Am I wrong? Do you guys? <laughs> no, no, no. no. Completely <laughs> this might be just me. <laughs> well, it's basically talk yeah. radio on demand, so to say, and you can specify the the topics you like. And if you don't like it, you yeah. just grab another one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. And, and that's I guess that's the downside to to today is uh, yeah, the on demand stuff is kind of gets you used to, to that sort of thing. But I mean, on the flip side, yeah, I mean, I get it tailored. It's it's the topics yep. I want. I I don't have a lot of people I can talk about this stuff with. <laughs> Uh, where I am, a lot of our listeners might, but I mean, at the same time, like where I am, the you guys are it. And I, I had to go to the Netherlands and Spain to do that. <laughs> so, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, like this is, yeah. So I, when I listen to things, that's why I was so sad too. When tested started cutting off a lot of their podcasts, a lot of podcasts are going away because it's, it's, it's not, it, it doesn't pay back very well. Um, yeah. like, uh, uh, trash taste and, uh, trash taste makes all theirs through, through YouTube. Um, but their podcasts online, they, they made statements that it doesn't, it doesn't do anything for them outside of, you know, some mild PR. And then on the flip side, I, 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 you know, some of the ones that have gone away, it's because they couldn't afford it. We, for us, it's, it's a $20, it's $20 a month, but I spend, <laughs> We don't get enough back to really fund it, you know. I mean, so it's sad because that means that unless somebody's out there willing to to do it, you know, a lot of the topics that I'd like to listen to, they're going away, yeah. uh, or you know, people get burnt out or whatever else and stuff. So, so that's why we made this is partially is because it, there just wasn't as much available uh, anymore to to listen to. Because yeah, did you guys ever listen to the This Is Only Test? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. yeah, I thought about structuring it like that. Personally, I like the other ones where they aren't structured because I do just like hear, hearing people literally talk about each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm always afraid. So before we record this, every time, uh, you know, Vince and James and I, we we have a few minutes where we might start talking. And I'm always worried that we'll start covering something, be, and then when we get into the recording, it won't be as good because it won't be as natural or yeah. it won't be as funny <laughs> you know what i mean uh so so like even today i kind of started it quick uh and sometimes i don't want to give you guys too much because it's like yeah i mean there's uh, this is just a conversation on topics that we like uh, yeah. and hopefully that other people out there also like um if if you have a podcast that you like that you listen to that you think that, that uh, should be shared on or you have your own podcast even yeah. more interesting uh or, or or channel and things uh you know let us know uh we'll we'll put it inside of the also inside of our community section but uh but yeah let us uh, yeah, let us know what you, what you like uh what you also like to see us do in the future on this podcast we kind of announced a few things uh vince just talked about you know other channels that have done some uh D kinds of stuff we're actually going to be doing something like that uh pretty soon we still gotta talk a little bit more about it but still uh so that's something to look forward to if you've enjoyed this podcast and want more just stay tuned for that but also check out our channel join the community on youtube that goes by the same name your geek fix be sure to check out vince on twitter at massive dmg underscore and on his youtube channel massive dmg check out james at mr malto 4 on instagram and the replica prop forum we also want to hear from you, so be sure to send your questions, stories, and other projects to yourgeekfakes at gmail.com. In the meantime, this has been your Geek Fakes. <laughs>